In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up split testing on your website. So we're going to continue on on the video that I did previously on how to set up a squeeze page and we're going to set up this split test and see how different headlines perform against each other. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts and plugins. The link is in the description below. So this idea came about when I was setting up my emails in ConvertKit. So in ConvertKit, they have a feature where you can test headlines against each other and the system actually chooses the best headline and uses that to send the emails out. So let me show you what I mean by that because that's a bit confusing the way I've explained it. So right now I'm in ConvertKit. So you can see here that we have two headlines. So this one here is uh, recommended Divi web design workflow. And the other one was how to design websites in Divi effectively. Now, there's no way I would have known which one would perform better. So I did the split test and these are the results. So as you can see here, this was sent to 336 recipients. And uh, the open rate for this one was 33.6%. And for this one, it was 29.8%. And the click-through rate was 8.9% uh, and 6.5% uh, for the other one. And clearly this one is the winner now why is split testing very important now if you're testing headlines this is how people react when uh, they come to your landing page so this could be a reaction to buying a product a reaction to subscribing for your mailing list and so on so setting up a split test in my opinion is very very important because you might be uh, continuing with a headline on your website for months or even years without even knowing if that message that you have has an effect on the opt-ins or the sales or whatever it is that you are uh, trying to measure on your website. So let me show you how to set it up on, uh, on your website. So I'm gonna come over here to our previous design where we created this landing page. And by the way, if you want um, a link to this, I'll also link to the video on how to create this squeeze page. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to start by going into my visual builder and setting, setting up a split test is very easy. So before we continue, we need to establish what we're trying to achieve here. So what we're trying to achieve is we are going to test two headlines on our website and see which one performs better than the other. And in this case, we want to see which one gets people to sign up onto our opt-in more than the other. Okay, so we have this first headline here, 100% free course. So in fact, I think I need to go in and make, make uh, adjustments to that. So instead of saying 100% free course, I'm going to call this 100% free WordPress course. Okay, like that. So that's going to be our first headline. Now, I want to test this against uh, a different headline, which perhaps goes along the lines of discover the secrets of WordPress. Okay, so how do we do that? So I'm going to come over here and I am going to right click and click on split test so that's all you need to do you right click in this area here so in this case it's the row that i'm after because by going for the row we can uh, change the text here the main headline text and the description but if you wanted you can actually go into the actual um, text itself and just right click it still gives you that split test option in fact let's go ahead with this because that's even easier okay so i'm going to click on split test and then now we have to select our goal. Now the goal is the opt-in. So we want uh, this uh, action of opting in, opting in to be triggered or that's what we want um, the comparison to be about. So if someone sees this headline, are they going to opt-in or not? So the more that opt-in from uh, whatever headline, that means that's the one that's working well. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. So this is our goal, which is the opt-in. I'm going to click here. And then we're going to configure the variance. So what this means now is I have to go in now and change the headlines, which are going to be tested against each other. So I'm going to click OK. Now, you notice that we have a different uh, color border here. OK, when I mouse over this area. So when I click here, you notice that we also have these little arrows left and right. So that means I can cycle through between, uh, between the, the headings. So another way of taking a look at this as well is to come over here to your wireframe mode 
and then you can see the two variants right here. And I think this is the easiest way for you to go in and uh, adjust your split testing because you can see clearly uh, where these two are. Okay, so just like you edit your modules normally, you just go into the gear icon like that. So let's change the, uh, the heading for this one now. So this one here is going to be discover the secrets of WordPress. And then I'm just going to say free course like that. Okay, so I'm going to save. So let's go back to our desktop view so we can see. So this is the first option, discover the secrets of WordPress in brackets, free course. And then if I cycle through here, you'll also see this 100% free WordPress course. So this is how you set up your split test, okay? So I'm gonna save this now, and uh, we're going to open this in incognito mode and uh, do a few, refresh the page a few times, and then see if I can trigger some uh, stats to show up. Okay, so I'm gonna exit the, exit the Visual Builder, and then I'm gonna open this in incognito mode, okay? So right now, I'm shown Discover the Secrets of WordPress, free course, so that's the one that's uh, been shown. Now what happens now with the system is, um, it randomly shows 50% uh, of, of the visitors, uh, one uh, title and 50% to the other title, and then works out uh, based on that, how many people have reacted uh, positively to whichever headline. Okay, so I've got this one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, pretend that I'm gonna sign in into this. So it's my name, I'm gonna add my email, and then I'm gonna click download videos. Okay, so now if you wanna check uh, our stats and see how they're performing, all you have to do is to click here on enable visual builder, and then you go to the split test. In this case, it's right here on the title. So these animated bars here are what, uh, what we need, is where we need to click in order for us to see the, uh, the stats. Now in our case, I'm not sure if this is gonna work because I did this in incognito mode, but uh, to get the best results, you need to make sure that you leave this running for a while because the more data that you have, the better. So let's say you test 10 people. That's a, that's a very small, uh, small amount of uh, data uh, for you to make a decision on. So I would even run this for as long as two weeks, three weeks, just to see uh, which one is performing better and also depending on the traffic. So if you have a website that has a lot of traffic, then uh, it may be it may make sense that you don't really have to run it for long because there's thousands of people that visit your website already. But if not, again, I mean, I'll just base it on time and let it run for a while and then see how that is performing. So let me show you where to get the stats from. So if you come over here on these animated bars like that, you get now the split testing stats and this is where it shows you uh, what is going on. So first of all, we have our text one and text two. Okay, these are the two colors and this is what we have on our page as well. So on text one, it would show you the impressions and also the clicks and the click through rate. And then over here, I mean, there's also more stats, impressions, reads, like for example here, we've got one on the reads. Uh, bounces as well, you know, uh, this is more stats. And then if you want to set up a goal, you can also set goals. Like for example, if someone signs up and if they hit the thank you page, that will be like a goal. So that can also be tracked, which you can also set within um, DV leads. But this is something that we can do on a future video. So you can, as you can see, this is uh, very, very comprehensive. There's a lot of uh, stats that you can go through to help you decide what is working on your website. So for those of you who are trying to do uh, online marketing, this is a great tool because sometimes we may think that this heading is better than the other, but for you to know for sure, you have to use tools like these. And thankfully enough, we have this already built in in Divi, which is fantastic. Today's tutorial is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. So that's all I have for you in today's video. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and be sure to click on the bell notification. And also, if you're a subscriber, go ahead and hit the bell notification because by doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.